So Call of Duty Black Ops 6 is out and let me just say that right now the entire Xbox community we are wilding. <laughs> so you might be asking why we are wilding well we are wilding because first time in a long time call of duty has released uh you know on all platforms and parity on a matter of fact so there's no more exclusive content for playstation because of what phil spencer and his team did so everyone is playing uh you know call of duty black ops 6 at the same time another reason why we are wiling is because we get to play day one on game pass proving that we are first class citizens now persons on playstation we want them to buy it at 70 dollars because the more they purchase this game at full price is the more we can you know say that this game sold wonderfully on playstation and it would have increased game pass numbers wow 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 in the meantime playstation fans cannot agree on whether sony should make more multiplayer games should they resurrect all multiplayer games they just cannot decide come on ponies fight not in the way new kill zone game not in the way you think it is <sighs> playstationlifestyle.net new kill zone game hopes seemingly dashed by gorilla so gorilla games has seen as seemingly dashed hopes of a new kill zone game in an interview discussing its horizon franchise studio veteran roy postma revealed to washington post that horizon was born out of the team's desire to move on from kill zone and create an ip that's the opposite of a dark shooter yeah we're not getting no kill zone bro <laughs> we're not they they they, they this is it this is it it's over i told you guys from day one as much as i had my hopes up for a new kill zone game it is over kill zone is no more it ain't coming back kill zone is completely dead that's one of the reasons why when dudes be asking for sony to bring back old games first thing out of my mouth is there's a reason they killed the franchise off there's a reason they stopped making the games back in the day is because you guys or oh, uh, us as gamers stop supporting it you just they are not just going to make games just because you have a nostalgia feeling right what comes out of your mouth is different than your purchasing habits once your purchasing habits and your mouth align then we have reality everybody wants them to bring back uh oh kill zone oh, because because there was a rumor or some that that um What's the studio that makes uh Nixes? Yeah. No, no, no. The studio that makes uh Horizon. Gorilla. So, Gorilla Games, right? That they're not that they're they move past oh, uh, yeah. kill zone and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll talk and about so that. So that was the discourse today, right? That was the discourse. And it's like, yeah. why are you guys upset? You didn't buy the last one. You all call it dog it. You didn't you didn't beat it, you didn't play it, you know, nobody cared, right? Um, but all of a sudden now you want them to go back. It's like stop with the nostalgia. Nostalgia rarely ever works. The games that they have tried to bring back, people still don't put them. Mm -hmm. The top play games we see from PlayStation uh, and, and from, from Xbox and on PC, none of those are those games that you guys want them to bring back. It's all the Fortnite, the Call of Duty, the Madden and 2Ks. That's what your mouth, that's what your dollars are saying. None of that shit is showing all of these double A games that they've tried to bring, bring out. <laughs> I love to see these ponies bicker in the morning. Should Sony bring back a kill zone? Well, some ponies are saying yes, they should. Some ponies are saying no. You guys didn't buy that in the first place. Why they should bring it back?
But today, what we're going to talk about, today we're going to talk about how some Sony fans are realizing that Microsoft's strategy to put their game on, on other screens is really what where the industry should be going. And also, we are going to talk about how some Sony fans believe that Microsoft is bringing the whole slate. But we just have a new rumor that is saying different. So you know what? Let's get it! This is a sickness! Let's get it! Currently, guys, 41% of you watching this video today are not subscribed. Do your boy a favor, hit that subscribe button. It will only take a second. Now, by doing that, you get some of the best Xbox content you can see this side of the blue ocean. In addition to that, of course, you get Xbox news, you get a little bit of Nintendo news showing in there, and of course, the best, the purest form of Sony Pony Salt. So hit that subscribe button if this type of content interests you. Now, let's continue the video. Let's first start off with Phil Spencer. A couple months ago, Phil Spencer made a statement alluding to, you know, the gaming industry not growing, hardware, um, console hardware not selling. Now, when he made that statement, a lot of the uh, ponies, a lot of the gamers really didn't really hear what he was saying. I mean, he even quoted the AMD CEO when it is, uh, she said it here, what, uh, you know, console is about to, to fall. As people who care about the industry, which I assume is people who are watching this, it was an amazing year. Some great launches, some of the games that I think will stand the test of time and people will be talking about a decade from now. But it's an industry that didn't really grow. And what happens when an industry doesn't grow? Um, you end up with some job eliminations, which we had. We had even our own hard decisions to make about building a sustainable business for ourselves, but in no way were we alone in that. Um, when you think about a healthy industry, I want players who believe that they will find the best games on the platforms that they love. I want people who invest their careers in working here to feel like this is a place that be, they can be successful. And that really is down to being part of an industry that is growing. If you listen to Lisa Su, the AMD CEO, she'll say that AMD powered consoles are likely to decline in 2024. I think a, there's an amazing set of games coming in 2024, but if we don't get to growing as an industry, the industry will struggle. Now, the ponies out there did say that Phil Spencer did not know what he was talking about. They did say that the only console that would be uh, falling is uh, Xbox. Well, it just so happened that exactly what Phil Spencer predicted uh, did occur. Listen. Topic I am very interested in discussing with you guys uh, because it's the first time that I'm actually feeling genuinely a little bit concerned about the about the trajectory of console sales. Okay, so this is being reported by Insider Gaming. They say video game hardware sales continue to fall in, in the United States and not just by a little. Circana released the latest US data on Wednesday and it shows yet another month of falling sales numbers. Hardware spending fell from $445 million to $251 million or 44% year over year. So uh, we're talking specifically about money spent on hardware overall down 44% year over year. That's, I mean, it's not exactly 50%, but that's that's very close to 50% less money being spent on hardware. The fall represents the lowest amount spent on hardware sales in September since 2019, where revenue was $242 million. Guys, I want to point this out again. So last September or last month, was the lowest September for hardware revenue and hardware sales that we've seen since September of 2019. I beg your pardon? Uh, that's not just for PlayStation, that's for everything. So pretty, pretty bad situation there overall. Oh, see, I can use the term situation appropriately in this case. It continues by saying the drop in sales was felt across the board as sales of the Xbox Series systems fell 54% year over year, followed by a 45% drop in PlayStation 5 sales. 
The Nintendo Switch, which is set to be replaced within the next year, saw a 23% year-over-year decline. In total, year-to-date hardware sales are down 30% compared to last year. So to all you ponies who said that Phil Spencer did not know what he was talking about, you guys look like fools now. It's very clear that hardware sales is down. The console business is not growing. That is why Phil Spencer said he's going to put, you know, his games on other platforms and on other screens because he is trying to, how to say, um, build up the gaming industry. And although the games are going on Fire Stick and Samsung TV, it does not mean that Xbox does not care about their console. It's obvious that those devices is just, uh, you know, a foot into the door when it comes to playing on an Xbox console. And I didn't say that. That is what Phil Spencer said. And our hardware is a critical component of that. The absolute best experience somebody has on Xbox is hardware that yeah. your team builds mm -hmm. um, and that people play on. But, that's but you know what? You guys don't care. You guys are going to say, wow, Xbox uh, console sold, um, fell more than PlayStation. I know what you're going to say. But it's very clear that you guys are brain dead. But let me hear what you guys think about what, um, you know, um, it's being said here, it appears that exactly what was uh, predicted by Phil Spencer by the AMD CEO months ago occurred. And finally, let's talk about Satya Nadella uh, statement and the rumor that came out right um, at the same time with it. So Satya Nadella uh, basically had a newsletter to all his investors and the latter part of, of that newsletter basically said on the gaming that finally we brought four of our fan favorite titles to Nintendo Switch and Sony PlayStation for the first time as we continue to extend our content to new platforms. Now these ponies would say wow everything the entire slate is going to um you know playstation and, and what i know these guys they can't comprehend well and they do this in bad feet i know that um there's a difference between you know our content is going to all our content is going that's a big difference the all there um you know makes it um you know a different meaning to it all together but it just so happened that while satya was saying this a rumor came out. Yes, a rumor. The same rumor that these ponies love to report on. Look at this rumor. Rumor. Xbox's PS5 ports have slowed down following Indiana Jones' announcement. Halo and Gears are still red lines to this day. Most of us know by now that Xbox has begun bringing select titles to PS5 this year, with the trend set to continue next spring with Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. However, a new rumor is suggesting that the reception to this particular announcement has led to Microsoft squeezing the brakes on its multi-platform plans. According to Extas Ones, the Spanish insider who regularly leaks accurate Game Pass news, Microsoft has either paused or slowed down, bringing its games to PS5. The leaker is keen to stress that Xbox hasn't cancelled these plans, but the fan reaction to Indy's simultaneous PS5 announcement has made Xbox take notice. Interestingly, while these multi-platform plans don't seem to have been stopped entirely, Xdas ones does state that popular Xbox series Gears and Halo are red lines for Microsoft, seemingly meaning that those two franchises are completely off the table for bringing to other platforms like PS5. Finally, the insider adds their opinion that Microsoft will continue to move forward once the Indiana Jones reaction has died down, and we can see this happening as well. A lot of the community frustration seems to have stemmed from Xbox not waiting to announce the game for PS5, so maybe Team Green will take a more cautious approach with these PS5 reveals in the future. As always, this is all rumor for now, and Microsoft has not come out with any new information on its future PS5 plans at this stage. So there you have it. Now if these rumors are true, even if it's not true, we know that Microsoft's strategy is not to bring all their content onto other platforms. It will make no sense to have an Xbox platform if it is they are bringing all their content to other platforms. Just as what Satya said, you know, they are titles will go to other platforms but of course it will be selective titles titles that make sense to them uh so more things like multiplayer games will be going um things like you know older games might be going um but you know some of the 10 pole titles like gears and and, and halo 
that will not be going to other platforms as you could hear there in the rumor um you know that is what they call a red line title now when it comes to the person who uh you know came out with the rumor he has an impeccable track record when it comes to predicting something and um it's it's coming true so this is most likely going to come true microsoft is has slowed down uh the con content that um is coming to other platforms they some of them would still be coming guys but we will still be eating good in the sense that we are getting these games they won on game pass while playstation fans would have to pay full pl um, full price for it you know the uh, the normal uh you know as the more sony pays we win so let me hear what you thought about this article what you heard about this rumor um this rumor no doubt help us to see what is microsoft strategy going forward let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below um don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos i'll see you guys in the next one later